Good day. This is Russell Hawley coming to you from the Tate Geological Museum at Casper College. And today I'd like to talk to you about the geologic clock. If you saw the excellent documentary series Cosmos, you might have been introduced to the cosmic calendar, which takes all of the billions of years that the universe has been around and compressed it into a single year. I have adopted a similar analogy for use with geology, and that is the geological clock. So here we've taken the four and a half billion years of Earth's history and compressed it into just 12 hours. And this is what it looks like. So on this scale, the uh, Earth formed 12 hours ago. And uh, for a while, it was uh, nothing but seas of hot lava and barren rock. Life on this scale comes along about 10 uh, hours ago. So 10 hours ago, life began. And uh, then something quite important, photosynthesis was invented about nine hours ago. You would have had cyanobacteria, blue-green algae, and uh, they would have been making oxygen by uh, using the power of sunlight. And then, now by the way, uh, you gotta keep in mind, that was the only visible life at this time. If you could go back in time to that interval and look around the world, it would make a very boring safari. There would be no grass, no trees, no flowers, no dinosaurs, no animals of any kind. In fact, the only visible life you'd be able to see is green slime growing on rocks by the seashore, the cyanobacteria. It was a green slime world. So what happens next is kind of interesting. Nothing happens. Jump forward an hour, it's still the green slime world. Jump forward another hour, it's still the green slime world. For seven hours on this scale, the world produces nothing but microscopic uh, organisms and green slime. And uh, it stays that way up until about two hours ago on this scale. Why the wait? Why is it that for so long nature was content to produce nothing more than microbes and green slime? We don't know. It's one of the great mysteries of paleontology. About two hours ago, things finally start to get interesting, at least for paleontologists, and we get the first animals appearing in the fossil record. Trilobites, sponges, jellyfish, and things like that. And uh, life forms continue to evolve and grow and change. Dinosaurs first appear about half an hour ago on this scale. At the same time, the first mammals um, appear as well in the form of little tiny mouse and rat-sized things scurrying around in the bushes, trying to keep from getting stepped on. Dinosaurs have their day. On this scale, they go extinct about 10 minutes ago, and the age of mammals follows. On this scale, our own species, Homo sapiens, has been around for a second and a half. And there it was.